Corruption comes in many flavors. Often it's small stuff, sometimes it's huge. Take this for example, buying a judge. It does happen, and here's the proof. Cash-filled envelopes passing in judicial chambers, all caught on secret video. Now this outrage is connected to new allegations of a different flavor, a pact between politicians and the Mafia. The mob reporter here with news of another wave of anti-Mafia arrests, and the charismatic mob rat spilling the secrets of gangsters and politicians in the birthplace of the Andrangheta Mafia, where corruption is never far away. Let me tell you about it. of police roundup started a week ago. More than 200 people were arrested in Cosenza, in Calabria, that's the toe of the boot-shaped map of Italy. Among them are mobsters, businessmen, politicians, and government officials. And some, well, some were just not sure where they best fit. Revelations of alleged corruption have been spilling out of a veteran mobster who has been cooperating with prosecutors for eight years. His words, a local paper in Calabria said, shake the palaces of power. After the raids, three government officials were suspended from duty and placed under house arrest, pending further investigation. Among the accused is Marcello Mana, the mayor of Rende, a town in Cosenza province that is home to the University of Calabria, as well as one of his town councillors, Pino Muno, who oversees the town's public works. And in the neighboring city of Cosenza, the capital of the province of the same name, one of the city's executive officers was accused, Francesco De Chico, who was in charge of municipal maintenance. It's no longer shocking in Calabria to have city officials hit with mafia allegations. Many towns have had their entire municipal governments dissolved and placed under federal control because of mafia infiltration. 129 dissolutions, in fact, according to Aviso Publico, an anti-mafia association in Italy. Here's their map of disbanded town administrations. There's just nothing to compare in most parts of the world, perhaps nowhere on Earth. But the allegations against Mayor Mana cause more alarm than most. Mana is known as a successful criminal defense lawyer. He's a popular politician and president of the Calabrian branch of the National Association of Italian Municipalities. The anti-mafia prosecution alleges that Mana forged a political pact with members of the local mafia clan, a crass vote exchange agreement that assured his re-election in 2019. It must be said, Mana, Muno, and De Checo all appeared in court this week professing their innocence. Their city councils maintain support for their colleagues, as does the association Mana leads. Time will tell. This is not Mano's first rodeo. Among his past clients as a lawyer were members of the Indrangheta, the proper name for the mafia that formed in Calabria. One mobster in particular got him in hot water, and this brings us to the bottom paid for crooked judge. Marco Petrino, former judge of the Court of Appeal in Catanzaro, 45 miles southeast of Cosenza, was caught red-handed accepting envelopes of cash by hidden police cameras placed inside his judicial office. You gotta hand it to Italian authorities. Not many cops or prosecutors have the parts to wire up a judge's chamber. In one video, he opens a white envelope, sits down in his office chair, and starts counting out the 100 euro notes. Whenever he reaches a thousand euros, he places the stack on his desk. In return for these bribes, prosecutors said, the judge would issue acquittals, sentence reductions, or favorable rulings. Among those accused of passing envelopes of cash to the crooked judge was Mana, the mayor of Rende, during his work as a lawyer. He is accused of passing on a bribe on behalf of a mafioso named Francesco Patitucci in return for an acquittal. We'll come back to Patitucci in a moment. Among the evidence presented in Cosenza corruption cases is testimony from a mob turncoat a so-called rat, a gangster cooperating with prosecutors. In Italy, informants are called pentiti, meaning repentant, as they supposedly repent of their evil by resolving their own crimes and the crimes of others. 
that elevates thinking to a religious status, even though most are likely motivated by selfishness. The Pentiti pointing fingers in this case is Adolfo Foggetti. Foggetti has always been a charismatic guy. I mean, here he is being arrested in 2014, blowing kisses to the camera. Before his arrest, Foggetti was an active mobster. He was named as a lieutenant in the Bruni Mafia clan. He then defected to an upstart gang known as the New Family, or the Zingari, which is Italian for gypsies. The New Family was challenging the old order. Foggetti's defection was spectacular, helping shoot his boss. Luca Bruni with a shotgun and burying his body in 2012. After Fugetti's arrest for that murder in 2014, he defected again, quickly deciding to cooperate with prosecutors. He grabbed attention as a high-value informant when he took police to where Bruni was buried and revealing both the boss's skeleton near a cottage in the countryside and details of the internal mob war. He revealed how the top seven gangs of Cosenza set their rivalries aside to cooperate and then divide the spoils of crime between them, an arrangement they called the Confederation. With Fugetti's help, dozens of mobsters were convicted. In return for his cooperation, Fugetti was sentenced to just six years, in 2019, for murder and mafia association, and given a new life in witness protection. After he was done testifying, though, he couldn't shut up. While in witness protection, Fugetti uploaded an outlandish video to TikTok in 2020. With a Latin beat pulsing, he stands with a gun tucked in his pants and slides off 50 euro notes from a stack like he's starring in a hip hop video. He then draws the gun and points it directly at the camera. The supposed repentant is waving gangland's two most powerful symbols, the gun and money. It sure seems these mocking mobsters who condemned him for his betrayal, reminding them that while they're in prison, he is enjoying his life. The song playing in the video is called Envidioso, which translates from Spanish as envious. The Spanish lyrics extol crime lords, real-life narco Pablo Escobar and Hollywood narco Tony Montagna from the movie Scarface. What a provocation. What a character. A mafia rat dancing on TikTok. Surely now we've seen everything, although all I have to show you is some screenshots. Italy's prosecutors got an eyeful of it, though, and used the video to return him to prison. Now, I said we'd come back to that mafia boss, Francesco Patatucci, one of the mayor's criminal clients. It was on behalf of that mob boss that Mermano allegedly passed the bribe to the crooked judge. Patatucci, as it turns out, has a much bigger role than just that to play in this Calabrian tragedy. He has been named as the head of the Confederation, the Grand Gangland Alliance revealed by Fugetti. And the conviction Patatucci was trying to dodge with the bribe was for ordering the murder of Luca Bruni, that very same mob murder that pushed Fugetti to start singing. That's just how life often goes in Calabria. Please subscribe, comment, and like this video. Tap the thanks button below the video, or join me on Patreon to help me even more. Thanks for watching.